I was born on a small island that was called, uh, is called uh, Haramse. It has about 250 inhabitants, so it's far out in the sea. I cracked the reading code myself because no one could teach me, but I was so motivated in reading. Uh, I only had my mother really to teach me. I gained an interest for science already when I was a child. I wanted to come become a scientist and then uh, to get an education that meant I had to go out. By discovering the grid cells, um, it sort of took the step into this brain area called entorhinal cortex, where then subsequently we and others found that there are many types of cells that have different functions, uh, but all somehow contribute to the brains uh, or to our sense of location, so the different building blocks. We begin with one of the simplest, which is space. I think once we know how space works, we'll also have a good sense how other functions like memory or planning or decision making, how all that works. This research is changing the world in several ways. So first of all, there is the intrinsic value of uh, what we call basic or fundamental research. There is also a potential value for um, health uh, uh, issues. I've been in Israel a number of times, uh, so because Israel is very strong in neuroscience or in brain sciences, my own field, I hear there are people interested in my work uh, there in neuroscience, so that I look forward to meet with them. I really like to go hiking and be out in the, in the wild. I've been traveling around the world and trying to find the most active volcanoes and get uh, up and uh, study them as close as I can. And uh, I think science is also about the same. You discover the world and maybe seek the unknown and maybe take some risk. So uh, I think uh, it's somewhat similar and I think it's still refreshing because it's something totally different.